Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Coach Adam's Bikini TV. Today we are going to break down and analyze the Battle of the Bodies that just happened this weekend. It was an awesome show. The judging was great. I really agree with the judging too. I think I'm really happy with the direction the judge has been going lately. Fully in agreement with this one especially. So, usual suspects in that first call out. When the show list first came out, I thought it was going to be between India and Alessia. Alessia ended up with that third spot. I actually thought, didn't see Brittany getting into that second spot. So good job on Brittany on, on getting up there and really becoming a star and breakout star in this show and beating some big names like Alessia, you know, the Olympian Alessia. Um, I thought for sure it was going to be between India and Alessia when I first saw this list come out. So let's go ahead and break it down and see what happened and why India took that top spot, Brittany took the second, and why Alessia got in that third. First off, looking at India and why she won over everyone else there. So one of the main things, the reasons that she won, when you look at India, she has a lot of muscle, but she's also shorter, more compact, more bubbly with her muscles as well. There's some areas of improvement I can see with India right off the back. I think just in just looking at her from in her posing, I think that they can be just a little bit more consistent. When you look at her posing here on this front pose, um, she's showing a really small waistline. You see that? She's showing pretty much completely profile on the waistline here. Um, everything is looking pretty good. She's holding a lot of her shoulders, showing a nice profile from this nice V taper here. So wide shoulders, small waist, sitting into her hip a little bit. Quad is pretty much sideways, so you're not seeing the, the biggest part of her quad where if it was facing full on frontward. But she does have a big quad, and that is obvious here that she does have a bigger quad. I think as she's moving up into the, the ranks and going into the Olympia, I think that's something that maybe she can taper down her quads just a little bit. When you look at the back pose, you really do see these quad lines come from the back side, and you see them coming out, you know, even on this side, on the right quad, a little bit past her glute line, which I think that she can correct just a, just a hair with bringing her legs in just a tiny bit on the posing or maybe bringing her quads down and maybe by the time the Olympia comes down, bring them down just a little bit. Not a lot. Just I'm not saying she's got a bad physique by any means, but I think to get her balance to be 100%, for her to compete and move up the ranks at the Olympia this year, her quads would need to be a little bit smaller. Her posing could be a little bit better, more consistent, and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. So let's take a look closely at this pose with India from the front pose. Remember, very profile, shoulders are wide, not showing too much of that, you know, not showing the quad straight on. And then when we go to that first call out, you can see here she's very open on that front pose and it makes her waistline look a lot wider. You can see here, and it's one of the things you want to see is like, look at this area here of the core of where her core is facing there versus where her core is facing here. Pretty significant difference on the profile. And that's just something when you're doing, you know, competing at the Olympia, something that you're really going to need to be 100% consistent on. And that's one of the things you'll see with people like Jennifer Dory. If, if Jennifer Dory at any place on the line, whether she's on the far left, far right, or dead center, she looks exactly the same to the judge's perspective. So to the middle of the, where the judges are, wherever that photographer usually is, you can look at her in every spot, in any time, at any show she's done in the last like three years, and her posing is dead consistent. I've actually done it before where I overlaid her pictures on top of them, and they're always dead consistent. So I think that that's going to be something that's going to be a huge advantage for India when she's doing the Olympia is just to keep this consistent pose with that smaller waistline, with those wider shoulders, and not exposing the core because her core isn't the smallest core. Out of the girls here, it's probably one of the, one of the thicker cores out of the girls that are here on this front lineup. Not a thick core, but for bikini, you know, when you're looking at a core, how thick it is, you're looking at who is she next to. It really determines on how thick your core is. You know, you can have a tiny waistline, but then when you get next to Issa, your waistline's going to look big because Issa's waistline is crazy, crazy small, right? So all those little things, those, the posing and keep making sure it's consistent, especially at the bigger shows like the Olympia, I think that's going to be a huge help to her. So my, my only thing I would say with her would be just a tiny bit less on the quads, keep that posing consistent, maybe a tiny bit not so wide on the back pose, but honestly, her physique was on point. You know, I think with considering the conditioning, there's no separation in the hamstrings. The tie-in is fully in. It's not too lean. You're looking at the core. There's no striations in the obliques. There's no striations in the shoulders. You have what we call the pretty muscle. So really for her, it's just these tiny presentation things, and, and that's really going to fix really everything. There's not much to go there. Uh, a tiny bit in the quad, that can come down by the Olympia time with just some cardio and diet, and she could be a lot better and move up the ranks at this year's Olympia. So really excited about that. She just qualified. You know, I think that this show was a good challenge for her, and I think that Brittany really gave a good challenge to her as well. And I think that where, where Brittany just misses just a hair on it is her, the density of her legs and the detail of her legs is just a little bit too much. 
So when you're looking at this quad, look at the density and look at also a little bit of the graininess of that quad. When you see these little things here in the quad, a little bit of the vascularity, and you look at Indias, you don't see that same, that same thing. India has what we call that pretty muscle where there's no veins going through it. There's no separation. There's no graininess to the detail of the leg. Um, and you're just seeing a little bit of difference there. When you look at the hamstrings, the same thing, just a little bit. And it's not a lot. And we're talking, we're splitting hairs here of the graininess and the detail and separation of those, of those hamstrings. It's just a tiny bit, you know, and that's what probably separated her from first to second. I think in the core, she actually wins. I think that she's got a better core, um, in the shoulder width, she's got a little bit wider shoulders. And again, with those shoulders, you know, again, a little bit of grain is showing, a little bit of detail and separation is showing those shoulders, which might have hurt her. It's getting a little bit to that point where it's borderline figure. You know, in bikini these days, you want to push it like right before it becomes figure. But here, I mean, maybe even just posing a little bit smaller when you're next to a girl like India would be the right, the, the right decision, especially when you're next to someone like that. You know, you got to think about who you're next to on that line and who you're com they're comparing you to. You know, when you make it to that middle and they're comparing you first and second, that's when your stage IQ kind of comes in. You say, okay, who am I next to? Do I need to be bigger? Do I need to be smaller? If you're standing next to someone with really big shoulders, yeah, open those shoulders up, pose a little bigger. When you're standing next to someone who's a little bit smaller and she's got momentum in the show, she's been in the center the whole time, yeah, maybe pose those shoulders a little bit smaller and try to be a little bit better without being too much. And that's the thing about bikinis. You kind of always want to be in the, in the middle, maybe be a little bit better, but not too much better. And when you're this much better on the shoulders and they're that much bigger, that's probably what the deciding line was. So it's, uh, she's just a little bit grainier. She's a little bit too developed. And that's probably what happened there. So definitely uh, a really close competition. There's a lot of areas where she wins. I do think that she also wins with the upper glute fullness on that upper outer edge of the glute fullness. I think in all um, glute fullness in glute fullness in general, I think India would win there. I think she's got bigger glutes, more full glutes. But in overall shape of the glute and overall bikini glutes, bikini development, I do think that Brittany wins there. Um, I think that she just really, it's one of those things where you're better, but it hurts you a little bit. And I think that's what happened. Her conditioning went just a little bit too much. Her shoulders went a little bit too much. And, and that's it. Just fine tune those things. And she takes that first spot. So looking back at the, uh, looking back at third place with Alessia, Alessia looks great. There's not a whole lot that she needs to work on. Obviously, Alessia does a ton of shows, and so you're not going to find too many flaws with Alessia. She's pretty much fine-tuned her stage presence, her posing, her, her, her stage look. She's gone through, I mean, she's got a very similar look at all her shows at this point in terms of her conditioning and her fullness. She's nailing it. Um, that's, you know, when you do, I think she did 19 shows or 18 shows a year ago or two years ago. Um, I think it was a year ago. Uh, to get to the Olympia. So she's really fine-tuned her overall look. And I honestly don't think there's a whole lot here that she would work on. I do think that when she, you're doing a lot of shows and staying lean all the time and always working really, really hard, you naturally are just going to get a little bit more grain and a little bit more density to your muscle. Um, and when you look at her from the back, her hamstrings, they do pop a lot. They do have a lot of detail, a, lot of, a little bit of grain to them, and they do have some separation to them. And that honestly might be what hurt her. The other thing, too, is when you look at her hair from the back, her hair is covering her shoulders a little bit. And that does hide her overall width because, honestly, from the back, when you look at her waistline and you look at Britney's and India's, she actually has probably the best shoulder-to-waist ratio from the back. When you look at the overall width and probably the best shoulder-to-waist-to-hip ratio, too, to be honest, when you're talking about shoulder, waist, hips, but the hair being on the shoulders and kind of hiding that and hiding the lats a little bit does take away from that uh, that visual of, oh, wow, this girl is dominating them from the back without being too much. And I think that she hits a perfect balance of her shoulders. And, that, and that's basically it. I think it's just a little thing. Maybe not pose so hard on those hamstrings. Uh, make sure that the hair's off. But she was right there. I would, you know, something about Alessia is I would like to see just a tiny bit more like development in her core. Um, not a lot, just a, just a kiss more of muscle, uh, but not again, just a tiny, tiny bit to move her up the ranks. And we're talking at the Olympia here. So that was a top three. That's what I wanted to go into. But one of the physiques that I really wanted to go into too, um, that was just an amazing physique. When I saw the lineup, uh, this, this girl, Maria Vegas, um, honestly, so much potential this girl Maria has. And then this show, she just didn't bring it a hundred percent, but the shape of her, the beauty of her. The waistline that she has, her structure, it's just, it's really, really good for bikini. And if she just fine tunes and nails her conditioning and nails her overall balance, I think that she has a huge future. And so I'm looking at her here at this show. You could see a couple things. One, her conditioning on her glutes wasn't there. 
her balance from upper to lower body isn't there. But look at that upper body. Look at that crazy waistline. Look at that shoulder ratio, shoulder to waist ratio. It's like a kiss of lats without being too much. Pretty muscle all the way up and down. But the development of her upper to lower body isn't balanced yet. The conditioning of her lower body isn't there yet. And honestly, it might just be her conditioning needs to come in on her lower body in order for her to match her upper body. But as soon as she does, she is going to be crazy, crazy good. You can see she's got tie-ins there. She has the upper glute fullness. She has the round glutes. She has the quads that are developed but not too developed. Um, and once that body fat comes off those, off those legs and glutes and she has this upper body to match upper to lower body balance, it is a, that is going to be a very, very good competitor. So I was seeing her, and I was like really hoping that she would nail it at this one, really hoping that she would bring a breakout in that top five, top four. And um, unfortunately, this time she didn't bring it. So if you're watching this, keep going, Maria. You look absolutely amazing. Just bring in the conditioning a little bit tighter, and you are right there. So amazing show sets up great momentum for India going into the Olympia. Um, I'm sure she's analyzing it with her coach and saying, this is what we're going to change for the Olympia. She's going to be, you know, I think that India could be another girl that gets in that top 10 this year at the Olympia if she just makes some, just some small tweaks to get there. I don't think there's a lot to get, to get her there. And she's definitely going to get noticed. She's a name. She's got momentum. She just won a show. And I think she's going to get noticed. So she's definitely going to get the opportunity to get in that top 10 if she just makes those tweaks. So other than that, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm really happy with the judging. I think that the judging was spot on. I think that the conditioning wasn't too much. There were girls there that were more conditioned, that were more muscular. And so I'm really happy to see when the judges have the option of picking these overpowering, more muscular, more lean, more tie-in girls, and they're picking more to the bikini criteria. So um, there's, yeah, there's probably could have been an argument for some other girls there, but this I think is pretty good with keeping it being bikini. And that's what I'm really excited about. It's not going, you know, it seems like, okay, hey, we're not going to go too far with it. But this is the kind of the limits of 2022 bikini, and we want to see muscle, but we don't want to see crazy conditioning. I think there was a few shows, you know, I obviously was talking about it, where girls were getting too conditioned, too much crazy etched tie-ins. But this is, this is a good balance. You know, I think that this is spot-on judging. Considering the options here, judges, great job. I think that you really, you really nailed it, and I'm really happy to see that. So thank you guys so much. We'll be doing the next one soon.